The Rugby World Cup creeps ever closer and this weekend teams are putting together their final preparations before the tournament kicks off. Today we have the All Blacks in their final match before the World Cup taking on Tonga here at Waikato Stadium. Hello everyone and welcome back along to your home of rugby in this final weekend of international hitouts before the Rugby World Cup gets underway. Today, like I said, the All Blacks versus Tonga and this is an interesting matchup where we're going to see just how good or what plans this All Black team has set aside for the Rugby World Cup. Will we see anything special from them or will this be fitness and getting ready for the big tournament? We find out though over the next 80 minutes. The team selected for today is interesting. There's a lot of changes and a lot of intriguing selections that we might see later on in the Rugby World Cup itself. Joe Moody starts on the loose end side of the front row and he'll partner Cody Taylor and Nipo Laulala in a very similar front row to what took on the Wallabies a few weeks ago. Patrick Toy Pluto will start the second row alongside Sam Wylock. Yet again, he needs a game time and he needs to stay at his very, very best. Matt Tong gets chance in the back row alongside Salvia and Reed, and it's the back line. Piranara gets a rare start in the number nine jumper, and he'll partner Bowden Barrett, who will start the match at fly half. Ryan Quaddy returns from entry for his first start in quite a while, and alongside him will be Anton Leonard Brown in 13. It's the same wingers as we've seen versus Australia. George Bridge on the left side, Seven Reese on the right, and Ben Smith returns from a bit of an average season this year back to his favoured number 15 jumper. Going up against him it will be Tonga, and this is a Tonga side you can expect to give plenty of passion, plenty of commitment, and plenty of dedication as well. They won't want to just sit here and be an extra player on the field. They will want to take it to the All Blacks and prove just what a threat they can be in the Rugby World Cup this year. The team they're going for as well has plenty about it and should push the All Blacks in a few areas if they can get their game plan going. It'll be interesting to see how the Tongans do go in this matchup with plenty of World Cup action for them in front of them as well. In their front row, Fissi Hoy will be starting alongside Miley and Halo Nuka Nuka in the front row to the second row. Sam Nelsi will be alongside Lever Fafita in the middle of the pack. Into the back row, Siano Kaloa Mafani will start on the blind side with Lukatui on the open and Vaipulu at number eight. Into the back line will be a Takalua who will start at scrum half and he'll partner the experienced Kurt Maraf at fly half. Into the midfield, Captain Piatau will be alongside Higano in the 13 jumper. Lula here will start on the left wing, Kupafuna on the right, and Halo Fonua will be at fullback for the Tongans. Can the side get a good early start? Plenty of support in this crowd here in Hamilton to get behind this side. Will it be enough? Can they do something that we've never seen before? A Tongan victory at the highest level. And as if these two sides needed any introduction, it will be Tonga in the red. And it will be the All Blacks playing in the Black Strips. Home game, but is it? Tonga with a heavy influence here in Hamilton. And they will have plenty of supporters. The game is quickly underway. And the All Blacks looking to attack early through seven Reese. And Boston, great turnover there. And look, Katui was all over there quickly. And a great early turnover for the Tongans. You gotta love what you see there. Lola here quickly on over the ball. Crouch. Could be an early chance. Find. Set. Scrum will pick down for the All Blacks. TJ Piranara will be. And you'd expect this to be an area that the All Blacks will want to dominate the game in. This of course AI versus AI. If you like this sort of matchup, let me know in the comments below. As Simon Reese gets it only started. Cody Taylor and support the Karen Reed. And they try something special down the blind side. It's there for Toy Pulotu going away to Bowden Barrett. Shapes the kick and across field he goes. And work to do here for Kubafuna. He's got a good chase against him as well. And George Bridge up on the ball very quickly. Waiting for a scrum half. There's no one to play there at Fort Tsonga eventually. Zakalua slips it short to Kubafuna who charges up to his own 22. Zakalua again. Has a bit of a run. He finds Hulunukunuku on the short side to his right. And he does what he does best and charges into contact by Pulu, pick and go Piranara takes care of him Tonga struggling to go forward now 
as Morales will play scrum half and he finds his hooker. Now he goes inside and for Victor Beck to Club of Fonny once right. more. It's another hit up as they flounder around this uh, 22 metre line before it is Takalua who kicks it away and finds Ben Smith who has to run a bit to get it and he'll counter attack and he beats his man. Ben Smith over halfway. Could have been the first all blank try. Taylor's there, but Taylor right. taking it a big tackle there. Right. Takalua all over him and now full pass to Mal Lala. And it comes breaking down in a whole heap for the All Blacks. Tongan defence tested. It stood pretty well as Crouch. well. Matt Todd with a little stint at scrum half. Set. Certainly one of his best work. Matakalua will have the feed and the All Blacks put in a big shove. And this will be a scrum turnover. The ball went in and they just bulldozed the Tongan scrum. Perinara to Barrett. Running before finding to Ryan Crotty out to Anton in a brown on the wing at Swordsbridge. One to beat and the fullback Police. coming at him, but they don't manage it to get through. Recycling, Nicola Lala picks and goes. I see it. Here's Ryan Crotty down the sideline. Welcome back from injury. Ryan Crotty to the black jersey and he scores against Tonga on his return. Great start for the All Blacks. The Tongans were stretched. And they couldn't find the numbers. A little short side play from Nipo Lalala. Ryan Crotty had it at speed, and the two Tongan defenders were half asleep down their play. You've got to be doing better. Lola here was down there. And Hello Fanua as well. The fullbacks certainly weren't awake to this opportunity. And they'll be wanting much better in future. The All Blacks get the start they wanted. The sooner they can take these Tongan supporters out of this game, the better it will be for them. Passionate people. They'll be edging the seam on to the 80th minute, regardless of the score. Here is Bowden Barrett. Back in the number 10 jumper tonight for the All Blacks in a successful conversion. Puts them up seven points to nil. It's been an interesting start. Tonga certainly have not been out of this matchup. But it's the All Blacks who strike first after 20. Back to Morath on halfway. Experience fly half. Kicks off yet again. Kurt Morath down deep to the All Blacks 22 and Severis off close to Barrett. They look to play for the back line. It's nice ball from Nalala. Richard goes back to Ilon and a high tackle there for Miley. And the hooker could be in trouble. But the referee gives just a penalty. It's pretty centralized, slightly to the left. And Bowden Barrett will turn that way and put it into touch just over the 10-meter line of the Tong inside of halfway. And they will launch another set-piece attack with this opportunity. Taylor to throw. Moody is having a few words in the front of that line out there with his opposite number. And it goes, and Matt Todd in the back of the line out option, and Piranara goes from a little bit dark for fighting Bowden Barrett, who really? goes straight to the defenders who take him down. Taylor. Scrum half to Whitelock, back up after that high tackle, and he's a bit isolated here. And the Tongans get an over him, but not enough to stop the all black ball coming back. And now Barrett again, feeding Race. off Kieran Reed. Just outside the 22, the all blacks looking to double their lead. Piranara again, Little Brown out to Seven Reese, and a dangerous player. It's taken into touch by a very good piece of defensive work there from Lola here. On their own 22 now. They need this one to go their way to Tonga. Half an hour in, they'll be happy. And the scoreline is only 7-0, but Whitelock turns it over. But a Barrett out to midfield. It's Anton in a brown with a jump goal. Wow, listen, that World Cup preparation, if ever I've seen it. Anton in a brown in outside centre, running to the corner, stopped and pivoted back towards the sticks and pushed one over. Delicately played and just went over by a couple of metres. And the scoreline has extended out to 10 points to nil. Well, we talked a little bit about World Cup preparation before the game kicked off. And that is something I did not think we would see here today against Tonga. Matt Todd takes the kick off and he's a bit isolated. And the Tongans don't get up over the ball enough, or do they? Oh, they've come in late and they have turned it over. Now they've got to look to work it. No, Marath instead kicks to the corner. Gets it in touch just inside the All Black 22. Happy to play territory of the Tongans. And Kurt Morath is certainly one who knows 
how to play this Tongan game plan. Four minutes to the break as Cody Taylor lines up the line out for the All Blacks and Tui Pulot to his line in the front who takes it down and a great stop there by the Tongans on that wall and this could be another turnover here. Starting to break down the All Blacks, turn it over. Here it is for Tonga. Oh, but it's poor. It's very poor. And it's another turnover as well. Takalula will want to do better with that next time as Seven Reese is running out wide. Beats one defender, taken by the second. And coming across there, Hingano makes a good beat on his big man there. They pop it inside. It's options as Bridge goes back to Barrett and into Dutch. This will go. 10 points to nil. The only lead by the All Blacks is Slender. And it's a tight one. As we head to the break here at Waikato Stadium, the All Blacks leading Tonga. 10 points to nil. It has been all the All Blacks, though. Territory in possession going their way. Possession 70 to 30%. So there's not much chance had by the Tongans. They've had a lot of work to do in defence. They made a couple of line breaks from their efforts, but only one try from this first half will definitely disappoint both sides. Bernard Barrett coming back to the halfway line. He'll be wanting to get a bit more involved in the game. Back to the number 10 jumper for the All Blacks. And away we go. 10 0 is the score. Tonga hardly threatened, but the All Blacks hardly putting chances away. It's Fisioi. Hits up for the Tongans. And now picking go for Halonukunuka. He gets Please. over the 22 metre line. Waits back for Sakurula. Now they go to the right hand side and they break in too. Got a little bust there from Hingano. Tonga struggling to hold on to this ball. It is a turnover. Piranaro's got it. He puts it high to the left hand corner. There's three, four, five. Oh, a whole pile of players coming for it. But Kubabuna climbs high, very high, to pluck it out of the sky. Well, the options here for Marath, but he's going to just kick it away. Finds Seven Reese, takes it on the full. On this own 10 metre line, they go outside. Little Brown back into Whitelock as Barrett's got it. He's all fired into Crotty. Brilliant early with a try. Terrible now with the knock on. Not what he was wanting at all there, Ryan Crotty. But excited with the chance. Oh, it was an average pass from Boda Barrett as well. Crouch. And Whitelock just Fine. kills the play. Diving on the loose ball. Sit. 47 up. And the scrums are set in. Now for Tonga. They got Bulldogs last time. Can they settle in this one? They do. Much better from Tonga. Waiting at the back. By Pulu if he wants it, but he leaves it to Tsukalu. It goes away to Marath. It says, oh, a flat standing still was thrown up, but he's made a work out of it as well as he gets away from Bridge, but taken down by a good Bensford tackle. Here's Fafita. And it's into midfield, Ngano finding plenty of support there as well. Eventually gets out to Hala Nuka Nuka, who's lurking on the left hand wing. Tonga get in and support him as well. Takalua getting away to Wakatu. Ian Marath has a bit of a run there, but Metzog takes him to ground. Now he's going to play nine. It is there. And it's Fafita who does the hard work. We're pulling him inside as they turn it back to Wakatu. He wants more. Tonga fighting hard here as we almost hit the hour mark. This is the way round back corner. Fopono! This could be a great break for Tonga. Over halfway, but he loses the ball. And Seven Reese, the hero, is moving now. Bona Barrett for the All Blacks and broken play. Very dangerous. Anton in the Brown stamps around the fullback. And it'll be a try for the two centres. Brian Cody first. Anton in the Brown second. And more poor work at the back by Hello Fonua. Lena Brown has been in great form in 2019. And this seals the deal as he continues his way to a starting All Black in the Rugby World Cup. Poor old Tonga, they did so well to break the line. Excellent work by Vipulu. And they almost overcommitted, you would say. Trying to keep hold of it, trying to hold the momentum. Once the All Blacks got their ball, they were broken, they were shattered. And there's very little they could do to stop this very explosive All Black backline. One for Ryan Crotty, one for Anton in the Brown. They would have loved a lot more from this so far. The All Blacks are now in. And they only lead by 17 points to nil. But what will make them happy, the fact that it is nil. And Tonga, apart from just when they lost that ball, they 
haven't looked like scoring apart from that moment. Back to Morath at halfway. Probably thought he'd be kicking off a bit more than this against the All Blacks, but his team has done very well. Oh, beautiful work out to Anton and Brown. It's a chase from Takalua, which will not be enough. And it's a double for the outside centre. Just like that, that's what the All Blacks can do. Third try scored. Anton and Brown's got a double. Straight off the kickoff. Beautiful work there. And it was Arnie Savia who just popped the offload in the tackle behind the defenders to Anton and Brown, who was no competition for the defence coming across. Brilliant work. Fullback was placed way to the centre. You see him coming across there. No chance at all for him. And for once, he can't play him. Hello, Fanua. He wasn't near the play to blame there. And Anton and Brown and Arnie Savia combining for that little short side kickoff play that the Tongans used. 22 0. Scoreline much more different to what it was 10 minutes ago. It's Bowden Barrett adds the extra two. 24 points to nil. Tonga now fading as the All Blacks take control late. Bit of a shame, really. The Tongans were in this game for the most part. They have been blown off the park as we get to that golden period of All Blacks rugby. Kick off again for Marath, and this time it is Anton and Brown. He takes it in, and Ryan Crotty straight through the middle. It'll be another try to the All Blacks. Ryan Crotty will go all the way. Chased down by his opposite number, but no chance. As the All Blacks strike once more. Two to Crotty, two to Leonard Brown, and it is a midfield demolition of Tonga. Well, Anton and Brown took it in. Savi had delivered another beautiful pass. Crotty at pace. Big chase coming in from Guna and from Piazel. But they could not stop him. And he has looked in good touch since coming back from that injury. The pass went straight behind the back of Piazel. He couldn't stop it. He couldn't change it. And all he could do is watch on is that man, Ryan Crotty. Scoots in for another try. Well, this game has certainly changed in the last 15 or 20 minutes. The All Blacks have taken over. And Bowden Barrett from an easy spot nails another conversion. And it's all one way traffic here. 31 points to nil. The All Blacks dominating Tonga, much like we thought they would. But it took them a while to get going. Well, now he's probably thinking, yep, this is what I expected. Doesn't matter if I kick long, it doesn't matter if I kick short, but maybe he should be thinking about kicking the other way. As Reese is taken down, it's a turnover over to Tonga. Now's a chance. They go back to Takalua. Inside the 22. Here we go. Lousy. Lousy going very well. Sam Lousy needs a friend or five. He's not done it. Oh, but it's a full pass. Ben Smith receiving from, I think, Whitelock. It was Sam Whitelock the turnover. Ben Smith got it and he drew it away. But Four. here is a chance. Here is an opportunity Six. for Tonga. <laughs> now Tukulua feeds a scrum. Can the Tongan pack get the job done? No, they can't. The All Blacks hit late. The All Blacks hit hard. And they will turn it over and have a set piece for themselves. Deep to Ben Smith. He turns up and he kicks it long. Oh, what a shame for the Tongans and their supporters. Such an opportunity to score in the All Black 22. They just couldn't put it away. The scrum looked good for a, a good portion of that set piece. Just not delivered. And now Wylock turns over their line out. The set piece dominance by the All Blacks is showing now. And Savia gives the Rex and another knock on. Well, what a play this will Tonga, and they do as well. Oh, no! High tackle on Sam Lousy. Oh, and it's going to be a yellow card, too. This could be a turning point. Is there now a chance for Tonga? Yes, because Joe Moody is going to be off the field for 10 minutes. Knock on from, I think, Taylor. And this is it. There is just three minutes to play. They're tapping. Tonga are tapping. Now, Lousy again. Good ball to Kaloma Fonny. And again, this slow to help out. 
How the Tongans and the Red Jumpers, oh, they've lost the ball again. The All Blacks get it back. And that is disappointing. Out to Adi Savia, who's been quiet with ball in hand, but he's put together some brilliant offloads. There goes 80 minutes. This one is done. Ben Smith, back to Bowden Barrett, and he puts in a soft little kick and says, have another go, Tonga. What have you got? It's a high tackle. A high tackle from Bridge. And here's the invites for the Tongans as we get Moody back on the field. Has that been 10 minutes? I don't know if it has. They'll tap this, surely Tonga. Marath with the ball. He does. He goes alone. Oh, this is dangerous. There's no one there to help him out. It's a turnover of the All Blacks. Oh, it's bad to us. Perinara says, I've had enough. And he kicks it long over the sideline. And it's a touch. That is full time. And that'll be the end of this final Rugby World Cup hit out for the All Blacks. Tonga were good. They came with a bit of passion. But they are eventually ground down by this All Black machine. And they were put to the sword late to the piece. Chances for themselves in the last five minutes. Couldn't finish the job. And the All Blacks, well, they put in the dominant display. Put on a good amount of points too. 31 points to nil. That'll be the pleasing part. Two tries to Crotty. Two tries to Leonard Brown. Four conversions to Bowden Barrett. And of course, the drop goal as well to Anton Leonard Brown. Tongans were good and they played well in patches and plenty of big names stood up as well but they'll be disappointed that they did not get points on the board they were dominated in possession look at that 72% to 28 that is never going to get you enough ball to do anything with the All Blacks discipline will be a concern the yellow card and a couple of high tackles but overall far too good for the Tongans here tonight dominant display by the All Blacks they finished their World Cup preparation and next up they will head to Japan it is 31 points to nil, and it is all over here from Waikato Stadium. The All Blacks getting the victory over Tonga. That has been for today, and that will be our weekend matchup of World Cup preparations. Maybe do some more um, in the coming days as well, as we've got plenty more action from this weekend of rugby. And then, of course, we'll be looking forward to the big one, the Rugby World Cup, kicking off very, very soon. So stick around the channel. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up as well if you've liked this little video between the All Blacks and the Tongans. Of course, we have plenty more stuff going on around the channel. We've got the Behind the Post website now with all the real-life articles and opinions going on in there. Plenty of ways to get behind the channel and support it as well. You can see it on screen there. Go check out the Discord channel. Have a chat to everyone who's around the channel as well have a chat say hi and all that sort of good stuff as well but from me today that is my time done i'll see you next time for plenty more rugby until then thanks for watching and take care